Oh, so I do not have a new theme for my Go channel. Uh, I did just write a fake uh, little Star Wars sounding bumper a few years ago and thought I would just throw it in today because uh, I am excited about seeing the new Star Wars and uh, I think I'm going to be doing that soon after this video post. So be excited, people. Be excited. Um, also, uh, this has nothing to do with the review today, but um, all those people who, who like avoid spoilers like they're the plague. Uh, I believe now it's actually been documented across several studies and, you know, psychological journals is that spoilers actually, if you know something about the thing you're going to see and it's spoiled for you, it actually has been shown to increase your net enjoyment of the thing you're going to experience, not ruin it. So I'm just putting out there, I'm, I'm prepared for the hate comments internet because I know the internet loves not giving away spoilers or trying to give, I don't know, this is... Spoilers are not that big of a deal. I don't really care. I'm happy to spoil things for you if you want. I guess. And you should want to, because apparently it increases your enjoyment. So, here we go. Anyway, today I want to look at this game uh, by Brian. And uh, Brian here is black. And he says he just doesn't know what happened in this game. So, I thought we would try to find out. Maybe we can also include, find a space to include a, a Star Wars metaphor along the way. I'm hoping. Here's hoping. Uh, but we'll see. Um, so we have we have the dark and we have the light side. All right, that's that's not going to work. Okay, but we do have black playing a low Chinese, and so far white is doing ni ren se. Uh, yep, this is a uh, this is one way to deal with the low Chinese. Right, the basic idea of the low Chinese is you're sort of creating a trap on this side of the board is the idea. And so often, uh, you know, if white plays this, black will want to develop this side. And now this bottom right-hand corner is really just a big trap uh, where if white just comes in here, uh, you actually have a couple good ways to attack the stone here, here, or here. Like these are all uh, have been played at very high level games. Um, but basically the idea is white has a very difficult time settling. Although there are Josekis that come out of this and, you know, it's still, it's still fine. Like white's still fine, but that's the idea is to create this trap. So when white does this, white is trying to convince black to take the corner, which Brian does. And then usually back off, which white does. So even though white uh, lost a few points locally, um, you know, you, you sort of already thwarted your opponent's ment mentality or, or strategic plan with this grand Chinese. And this formation uh, does work with the two 4-4 four, four stones. So, you know, cer certainly, uh, uh, not, I, don't, I haven't seen it in a while, quite honestly, in, in, at high level games, but this is still a pretty tried and true pattern. It's sort of like a slight minus locally, to, but it prevents a, a more global strategy for coming into fruition for your opponent. All right, so Brian decided to be very aggressive here. This is a little bit strange. Uh, you don't really need to invade this yet, uh, believe it or not. And I think actually just approaching here would have been more than fine, uh, because even if white just backs off, you still have the corner. You can still actually invade here. There's still too much space here, and your stone isn't going to become under pressure. So when you come here, yep, white's going to attack you. Yep, just like that. Oh my god. So, you know, this move is fine. Like, this is a, this is not a bad move. But I just want you to look at the result. Like, this is so inefficient shape. Two stone wall with one space extension. It's just so inefficient. So when you play this way, you're actually helping white use these two stones uh, very effectively. And we don't want our opponent to ever use their stones effectively. Uh, so, we'll kick it and attack, yep, okay. Uh, white plays here, this move is okay. I don't really like it that much, but I think it's I think it's actually playable. I won't really have much to say about it. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Um, I think you're actually better off just blocking. And even though this move looks stupid, and it kind of is. Um, and white can play here on, on white's next move. Um, your shape is good. And so you can actually sort of counterattack in here and run both of these groups out. And I think that would be acceptable. Um, and if white doesn't play in here, let's say white defends first, uh, this makes you alive. 
So you would have succeeded in, in making a live group within White's uh, biggest potential territory. Uh, for those of you who don't believe me, right, there you go. Two eyes. Real easy. Can't take them away in that shape. So this is this is uh, a little dangerous. A little dangerous. Uh, let's see. Uh, White has a couple good responses, it looks like. White can actually start this fight this way. Uh, no, actually can't. Never mind. No ladder. Um, White can start the fight this way and just take away the potential for you to have eyes. Um, White could theoretically play this and just trap these two stones on the outside, but White's shape is kind of bad. Um, so, I don't know. Let's see what White played. White Haunted. Uh, that's a move, but... Yeah, I guess this is a move, too. This is fine. <laughs> Perhaps the most natural move. Uh, okay, so you still have a cut, but... Uh, okay, that's a, not a good move for White. All right, good. You're making shape. Prevent, fix the cut. Um, of course, White gets to fix his shape as well. And now that whole counter-attacking variation just goes right away. Uh, it's a little bit slow-looking to me. It looks like this move would have been a little bit more potent. Um, because if White comes in here, it looks like you can, you can counter-attack without too much trouble. Uh, but... Um, the other nice thing about playing my move is that if white does do something, this turn is very large. Uh, it's bas it basically 80% seals in the white group. It gets your group to the outside, gives you some central influence. It's a very, very large move. In this move, you actually still have a shape problem because if white plays here and here, you have this double Atari problem uh, kind of thing. Um, I guess it's not... Uh, it's not that pro much of a problem right now. So, all right, it's okay. Uh, oh wait, wait, I should I should be thinking more about White's moves here. <clears throat> um, yep, that's fine. You're strong here, so White will defend. It's good. Good. So develop. White comes in again. Or sorry, no, Black came in last time, so White comes in this time. Uh, this is a little bit overconcentrated. Just the um, the idea that even though the stone isn't a traditional pincer and white still has enough room to make a base, it's still kind of like a pincer. So you're adding a second pincer. So it's like you're double pincering. So we usually avoid this type of combination. Uh, unless you have some real special strategy going on out here. Uh, white jumps out. That's actually good for you in this case. I think white should have just taken the corner. Um, you should play here, Brian, just take points. There's not enough room for White to get two eyes here. So, he only can run. What did you do? Okay, you took it away this way. Alright, so we have the triple pincer. <laughs> One, two, three pincer stones. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. Uh, of course, this is a bad move for White as well. Um, White should just take the corner, actually. You're gonna end up being way too overconcentrated in this case. Because uh, if white does, and we even just play something remotely resembling some sort of normal variation, uh, let's just play this this simple one here. You have a choice here. I guess you can play that. Um, these two stones aren't completely dead yet. And because there's a potential for a cut here, they have a little bit of Aji. So black needs to sort of fix somehow, and then later on you can potentially rescue them. There's just a lot of black stones over here for... We don't know how many points yet. Like, you don't want to save them right now kind of thing, but you know, even if black invests the extra moves to... Let's say black got two moves in a row here, didn't respond to that or something. Um, you know, you made... It's easily a 10-point corner. And, uh, you know, this was black's corner. Black already had a pincer stone. Um, you know, this is 10, this is 15 points or so here for, uh, far black. So it's like, in, I mean, this is probably more than 10. Actually, we're, we're giving black an extra free move, right? So you got, or sorry, white got a free move somewhere. Um, these three stones are too close together. This stone should be further over here. This is, this is not efficient for making points. Like it's, it's acceptable. Like you, you, the game's not over, but so, okay. So this is a bad move for white. So white should have done a better job making some sort of exchange here, because now, uh, this actually worked out really well for you. Um, this group looks actually pretty good. It's not completely safe, but it's not 
going to get killed right now. Um, and it's also looked like it's going to make a significant amount of points, assuming that white uh, can't attack it because white has a weak group. Um, even though this stone is still a little bit too close to these two, this looks pretty solid. And white, most importantly, white has a weak group. And uh, white can't duel a whole lot more over here when he already has a weak group. So, yep, white's going to run out. Yep, you can take more points. Uh, this does leave a little bit of Aji behind. Um, that's a little bit dangerous. You know, if you have to protect that side, uh, there might be this sort of cut here later. Um, you know, to get white out. I mean, there's all sorts of different ways white can use this cut. You know, or white can just make another live group right here and then threaten to come back this way. I don't know, all sorts of variations. But this is a little bit thin looking to my eye. So this might come back to haunt you. We usually don't make um, a lot of these, uh, these are large knight extensions in a row. Like this is kind of, uh, kind of weird. We actually see them almost more often like in the middle of the board kind of thing um, during a fighting sequence where it just matters who has influence um, because they can be cut and when they can be cut, that means there's no guaranteed territory. So they're kind of inefficient in terms of making territory. White's gonna poke at it immediately and you're gonna keep up the pressure, okay. Um, the stone looks really over-concentrated now, uh, cause now I really want the stone to be like here. But yeah, we're keeping up the pressure on the weak white group. Uh, yep, now this is getting really thin. Okay, uh, so we're getting it out. Uh, this, this shape looks so dangerous to me. What happens when white just plays here? Like white just takes away these points, right? Like, I mean, this is the simple variation, right? Um, like this is this is like the really simple variation where you just get no points. Um, but there are more complex variations where white actually cuts through. And those are kind of scary as well. Although I wonder, is this, is this the, let's see, go forward one move. I wonder if this is a better way to cut. Uh, maybe not. No, no, I think it is. Uh, can white, Black just plays here now. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I guess that just invades cleanly. It just It's just an invasion. Um, I just really want to cut, though. I guess we'd have to cut this way. I guess you can link up. Um, you might have... that. This might result in these stones dying, though is the problem. Because um, even if black captures this, uh, your opponent would get the whole corner here. Mm, I don't know. This shape is thin, okay? That's the point. And this is... Oh, okay, white's taking time to go defend the corner. Well, all right. Why are you invading there? Um... Okay, so if you're going to invade at that point, this is a really awkward point to invade at. Uh, I, for, first of all, I, really, I would really just encourage you to think about reducing this. Um, I think you still have a co in the corner. Like right now. Or, or white can just, you know, give up the corner with one of these sequences. Um, so you can reduce the corner. So the corner is not that big. You... White, I mean, white doesn't have a lot of points. <laughs> I mean, this is still invadable here. Although it'd be much more invadable if you were a little bit stronger here, but again, white still has a weakish looking group. The other, the other thing that this type of reduction move will do is it'll get another stone on the outside, which again, any stone on the outside will put a lot more pressure on this. So this just looks like an unnecessary thing to do right now. Uh, okay, white's defending the corner. That's a big move. That's a big move. I mean, this is the type of move that um, it's very difficult to know when to play. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think the timing is right for white, but it's still a really big move in its own right. This doesn't do anything. Don't play that move. Uh, yeah, you just prevented yourself from being able to Hane and cut that off later in case this does become weak. Really bad exchange. You just helped white a lot. All right, we're going to keep up pressure. Um, okay, 
at this point, I'm not sure this is still the correct direction. Because where's the action on this board? Well, there's still the potential for an invasion here. This stone is weak. The corner is pretty solid now. Uh, so maybe there's a reduction sort of point over here. Um, we can't cut this off, right? So if we could still cut these two groups off, there might be some action over here, but there's really not. Um, this is very hard to develop in anything really large. Um, you know, I guess, I guess black can get one more good move out of it, but after that, it's hard to develop further because this group is safe and white's kind of sticking out a little bit. And then the action, there is this invasion that white can always do once white feels strong enough. So I guess my point is for this stone to be now be placed on the board, let's use a different shape. Uh, for this stone to be placed on the board, how does this stone benefit all these little circle points? And it maybe benefits this one a tiny bit. But after that, it, it's really hard to see. Like, it's really not clear. Now, maybe you're, you're reading, well, if you play this, maybe white has to play this, and then you get to play this, and then white will have to defend, and maybe you can do this. This would be kind of acceptable if, if we know we could get something over here for it, but it's still really difficult to turn this whole thing into points, and that's the, that's what the sort of thing you want to do with an attack. And meanwhile, if white plays here again, um, we actually need to play another move, otherwise this stone is going to die. So we, we sort of just have to keep running. And so no one makes anything. So, you know, I guess it's, it's not that your move is bad, it's just really neutral, it's like stuck in... You know, it doesn't know if it wants to be... I just don't know how to use it, I guess. Whereas, you know, even though this move looks like you're letting white out and run to a safe group, this stone, I can see helping this stone. I can see, are these all my circled points? You remember all my circled points that I just had up here? Right, having a stone... Let's use my edit tool so I don't have to... Oh, I guess the edit tool does lose all my circles. All right, let's use a square tool. Um, this move actually helps this invasion. Uh, it helps these cuts just a little bit by, in case they do get cut off, this group now is a little bit stronger. Uh, it certainly helps this stone. It gives me the potential for this. Um, and granted, you know, this circle, the circle down here was always worth about the same, regardless of, wh of whether or not you have a move here. It's really not worth a whole lot more with this move or without it. So, I don't know. This feels, this feels like certainly bad timing, or, or we'll say probably bad timing, but certainly wrong direction. Yep, might runs out. Uh, okay, you're going to try to help this group slash surround this. That's usually when you're asking for two things that in, bo in both of them you really want. You're almost never going to get either of them. Uh, can white honey there? I feel like white needs to play a little bit more severely. White must be worried about this, though. Um, how big of a problem is this? Or white. White would need to, like, capture this or something. Maybe something like this. Um, yeah, maybe this isn't that playable for white. White would need to run this out. Or maybe, can white get any other free stuff here? Not really. Get counterattacked. I don't know, I'm, I, I've, there's a lot of uh, weaknesses using this stone in this cut that white can take advantage of. Maybe that wasn't the best, best variation for white. Okay, but anyway, either way, white played it very solid, very safe, and didn't poke here to try to play that sequence. All right, good. So we played we played a, a much more active move. Um, however, I, I'm not convinced that this is the point. My gut says I should play a little bit more solidly and just, and just jump here. Um, but this is the right, this is, this is the right idea. This is the idea. This is the type of thing that we got to do if we want to win the game. Okay. You got another one. Sure. We are giving up a lot of points, uh, to play these moves, by the way. Right. We just, we did, we did just lose the invasion potential, right? And this whole area is now definitely white. Um, but the nice thing is, you know, we are helping the stone and we can resume, we have, we're, we're, I guess, I guess what I should say is we're making use of the stone that I didn't like. <laughs> you know, so we're sort of playing like two bad moves to make the first one seem better. Does that make sense? Uh, right, it's like 
you know, once you play this move, then we can't, then, yeah, we're probably not going to be able to invade. But we can definitely still attack. So, all right, I buy it, I buy it. White's looking for eyes. Ooh, that doesn't really help. Nope, that's that doesn't help. Uh, why didn't we block? You know, there is there is some bad stuff in here, but you can deal with it mostly. <laughs> this just helps white way too much. Yeah, even though even though yes, you popped out the eye. Um, white is basically gaining in sente. Oh, and now you didn't pop, pop, pop out the eye because white can still play here. Oh, and he does. That's the game. Um, however, this move does not make two eyes. Is there Aji here? Not really. So, um, I think white should have probably just played here. And if you start this type of co, um, white should have welcomed it. Because if white wins the co, white has two eyes and you have no points here. Okay, that's not what happened. Uh, you took points right now. Why? Is this is there a connection problem? There's de white can still definitely invade this any time. But if there's, I would say if there's no connection problem, you have to pursue this group because this group again only has one eye. But I guess actually you can make two eyes here without um, too much difficulty. Yeah, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe actually, maybe we can't pursue this group. All right, uh, I've come around. Uh, okay, white's gonna poke, yep, that's a poke, that's a poke. Yep, white's going to go about making the second eye, it looks like, nope, white's gonna get out, white's gonna change mind. Uh, your clamp? Feels, after white gets out, though, it feels small. Like, before white has any eyes. Hmm. Because you're going to have to respond again, yeah. Oh, white's, white's not trying to get out, white's is trying to ask for eyes. Um, yep, that's, white can make a second eye. Uh, whenever white wants. So, sure. Oh, actually, white can actually run this out, too, um, for the second eye. Right? I, my white plays here. Is there any other response? Nope. Okay. All right, so now we're going to go back to making this into points, except <laughs> there's now a problem. White got this move in the middle. So white, white just got a little more center influence than you're used to having. This Hane never really resolved, right? You exchange these two, but white has a solid shape, so now there's a cut here. White got this move, or sorry, it was really this move for free because you made this really terrible exchange. Um, before, you could actually pretty easily make a second eye whenever you wanted. Now you can't make a second eye down here. Right, you can imagine... Uh, let's see, if, can I take this stone off and this stone off? Yeah, if, if, if this group ever gets into trouble, you can just play here. And white connects, <clears throat> and you can just make a second eye. Isn't that nice? Uh, but now you can't. So, let's see what happens. White's going to create a cut. Hmm. Um, this move's a little bit weak for white. Hmm. He's just asking stuff. It's okay. Nope, it's okay, though. All right, you're going to leave the cut. Yeah, you don't want to let white into that territory. Oh, and white's just going to play defensive. Hmm. All right, well, let's let's look at the territory right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, that's eleven. I can have the number right there. Eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. You only have about forty. We'll say almost fifty points is black, which is not that much considering. Um, how much white picked up, uh, you know, by by making, or by basically getting you to make that exchange instead of invading? 
getting these moves in to link up to this group. Um, let's see, there's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, White, White's already, after Comey, will be over 60. But it's kind of hard to believe, actually. Um, so at this point, I'm not, I'm not sure when uh, you, you thought, you were thinking something went wrong in this game. Um, but White already has enough points to win. And it's not clear where Black can make more points. So... I think it was, it was like, it was, it, it, this is actually a hard thing to see. There were just a bunch of bad exchanges that all just sort of lost you um, initiative somehow. Um, so I think, I think the first one, I mean, there is a little bit of a shape problem here, but that's not, we're not even really counting that yet. Well, I guess we did because you had to invest an extra move here. Yeah, because, because you needed extra moves, that also didn't help. So we have like a little bit of an inefficient, like this is too small, this is too far. Um, this move is okay, but it leaves a lot of Aji. This invasion isn't going to be enough. You have to profit from this attack. Uh, this exchange was just terrible in terms of points. Just terrible. Uh, because you can even just play here right now for free. And if white responds, um, yeah, there's a foul endgame move here for white. Uh, like, let's just play here. Right, white white can, you know, sort of play here and mark this off, um, but white can't cut you. So, I mean, that's a pretty big difference in terms of life and safety of this group. Actually, your group too, for that matter. If white doesn't get this, you can make, like I said, another either. So this this exchange, I know it looks so innocuous, but man, ah, oh, that's it's, you just killed all of your potential. Just all of it gone. Um, how does that relate to Star Wars? It's like when they're firing up the Death Star and then the Rebels just fire the one little torpedo into it that blows up the whole thing because someone had an oversight, right? It's like... That's right, you're fi firing up the Death Star and then <laughs> you just got torpedoed. That's one little torpedo just like... <laughs> Ruined any sort of prospect for doing anything else here for the rest of the game. That's a terrible metaphor. Don't quote that metaphor. These are going to be all very, very forced today. May the force be with you? No, nope, that's even worse. It's not going well. It's not, the Star Wars metaphors and puns, not going well. Oh yeah, this this was much too helpful for White. Um, basically, you're helping him make eye, sh eye shape. Even though it looks like you took it away, you just let him take your corner. So you kind of lost points. Yeah, and then having to defend here. I mean, it looks like that's points, but you gave up quite... I mean, it's not that much with 10 points. 3, 4, 5, yeah, about 10 points. And yeah, it's not efficient. Not efficient. Um, this didn't really go anywhere for White. Uh, White's safe. He tried to make some points here. Oh, right, and here's where we were. So you protected the cut and tried to help the group. Sure, and this also has the nice benefit of potentially making some points. I'm still kind of worried about all this stuff. Like there's still stuff in here for white to use. That's a pretty slow looking move. Okay, all right, so you got that. So you got actually an extra maybe six or seven points here I didn't give you credit for. Um, yeah, but white picked up an extra four or five there that I didn't give white credit for. Um, yeah, I guess this, this move's okay. I'm, I'm just seeing if there's any Aji here later that we can use to get Sente surrounding moves, but not quite. Although, actually, wait a second, wait a second. Maybe there is a way? Mm, not really. Um... I guess this is all, this is all just, oh, I guess White could have peeped there. I mean, you can get a couple moves maybe in Sente later, but not worth it. Okay. Oh, well, maybe you play the monkey jump first. Maybe you play this first. And we can play that one. 
If white doesn't respond, does this have any uh, way to work now? No, it still just sent a... Oh, no, 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 it does work now, because you get this... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, I can't read, because this just dies still. Tricky reading, but... Yeah, white's fine. I'm just looking for free moves, like what's the best way to use this cut? Is it to take the simple move on the outside? And it might be. Um, but I'm still really inclined to play either monkey jump or this jump first and see if you can get white to short his liberties. Oh, you play the monkey jump next. Um, yeah, you probably didn't want to do it now. Yep. You agreed. Yeah, actually, in this situation, uh, instead of playing the monkey jump, it's better to play this one. And the reason is because this one, after white responds, no matter how white responds, uh, it'll end in sente for you. Where in this case, if it goes just like the game and you respond, uh, this is kind of like gote for you, unless you have an extra move in here. Um, no, I, don't, I think you can just connect. I don't see a reason to pull back. I guess you maybe you're thinking about this double cut thing. Okay, white's just really poking. That's a big loss for you, actually. That's because that's, this move is very big for white now. Um, but yeah, there's no one's really finding a way to change the state of the game. Oh, we're doing this co thing. Yeah, it's really just a couple of bad exchanges that just pushed the game very far and. White's direction without you realizing it. Yep, so this is all kind of uninteresting right now. You give up a stone, I'm not sure why. Uh, let's see, a score estimator have a... It says white by 1.5? Hmm. There's still this co here. Pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable. So in the end, in the end, you actually did end up making way more points uh, in this area and this area um, than I gave you credit for when I gave gave that preliminary count. Um, but it doesn't feel like you should have. <laughs> like, how did you even get that much of a comeback? Because those shouldn't really be your points. You have weaknesses. I guess why you just played really, really passive. Um, maybe White doesn't know he's always alive here. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not sure why White played this move. This move is very, just, it's just very slow. Uh, I think White can play, just play here and just destroy those points. Uh, this is the move you'd have to watch out for. But I think white's fine. Right? This group, there's enough weaknesses around here. This group would be very annoying for you to deal with, even though it's not connected to anything right now. Like, where, what do you, how do you do, I guess, I don't know, maybe here? But there's this peep. And this cut. And you can't really push through as white, or as black, sorry. Right, you can't cut that that way. So I'll capture those two. Um, it's, it's very tricky for black to deal with. You play this, that would be crazy. No, you can't play this. Oh, well. It's interesting. So black would respond there. White. Black and then white would get in that way. Yeah, I this this group would be very difficult to deal with if white made a group there, even though it has it's not connected. There was just weaknesses, things to take advantage of. So, yeah, monkey jump didn't quite work, and so when you play there. 
You know, white doesn't really need to respond directly to that. White can just come over here and ruin that. What types of thing? A oh, white pushed one. Okay. Yep, this is all, I mean, it's all big stuff. So I'm actually surprised it was that close after I counted earlier. At least at this point in the game. So, um, yeah, I don't know if these were your real ranks. I'm pretty sure, I thought you were stronger than 13Q. Uh, but maybe I'm mistaken. Fun game. Um, it's, I mean, nothing, there was like nothing really like glaringly wrong. It was like a lot of just like little mistakes, you know, and those are the hard games. Those are hard games to learn from, like yourself. Um, when you do your own review, like there's not like anything really big. I can see what you, you mean when you said like, there's nothing really big that went wrong. You're not really sure how you lost. Um, but, I mean, if we're talking about, like, bigger stuff, right, I, I wouldn't encourage you to play this type of move. Again, you already have the side reduced, right? So even if it, even if you just play, like, the really simple variation that everybody knows, and I wouldn't, I would, I would still encourage you to probably just take the corner. You can still reduce from here later, right? And still invade here, right? This isn't that big. So I think you're already a little bit scared just at the beginning. And then here, yeah, just you gotta you gotta do something better um, with the stone. So like just lots of these little things, lots of little things. And that's hard to correct. It's hard to correct. Um, a lot of it is shape. A lot of it is timing. Yeah, that invasion didn't seem like very good timing. I'm surprised that you saved it so easily. Um, because it feels like, you know. White just plays any one more move over here and basically says, hey, I'm alive, or I'm alive enough. Um, white can counterattack this. But, yeah, I don't know. White has a weak group. So, Brian, I don't know. I hope this review helps. Um, I guess, I guess the, the thing that I really don't want you to ever do ever again, the thing that pissed me off the most... <laughs> As far as your moves go, is this one. <laughs> this just takes away so much stuff. It doesn't get you anything. Um, actually, I guess it does get you one thing. It does give you this move. This peep now works really well. Um, but it's not even... Well, that's it. I guess it is basically alive. Huh. I guess you could have done that. <laughs> hmm. Is there any other way for white to deal with that? Yeah, when white connects this way, and you play here, I uh, can't quite get that to work. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, white, white, just capture there. Hmm. So here you would need to play that one. Well, that's good. Actually, this is good. This is fine, right? Um, yeah, you, you would... At this point, uh, you'd have to play here, right? And then White would have to play some sort of really sad connection? I mean, you could do that. And actually, when you get this move, this actually makes this Hane good again. Hmm. But you never did that. So... Yeah, that would've been fun. This would've been fun. But, I don't know, it's still, it's still... Uh, this exchange just looks so bad. Because even before this exchange, you could always still play this. Right, and you're going to get something, even if white blocks here now, right, you still get the same exact thing you did before. If white blocks here now, uh, right, you can play the exact same shape. White still has all the exact same problems. Well, maybe in this one, white blocks this way. But that's not a big deal. Actually, it's actually, no, I guess that's still fine for you because you get that free Hane and Atari. All right, so, yeah. This is just, yeah, this is like just a little new, this is like a stormtrooper move, man. Just completely ineffectual. You're trying to aim at something, but you just keep missing. 
right? There's key points in here, right? 3-3 and the 5-3. But I just fired that laser in the general direction of a Jedi, and man, did that thing just miss him. That was my best one, right? I think that was my best Star Wars reference for the day. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it quit here. Uh, I'm going to go see some Star Wars. I'm going to go see a Star War. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks, all. Thank you.